What's up everybody, this is Scott with Team 512 and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be installing more parts from ACS Composite on my C7 Corvette Grand Sport. And you guys know ACS Composite makes high quality parts for the C7 and now the C8 Corvette. And I have a few different products from ACS Composite on my car now. The full length Z06 side skirts, the front XL rock guards, and the rear fascia extensions. And I have videos on all three of these other ACS composite products and you can check them out down in the links below and I'll also put links for all of these products in case you want to buy some for yourself. Now the styling of the C7 Corvette is already pretty aggressive but we're going to be installing the ACS composite rear diffuser fins and we're going to amp up that aggression just a little bit more. Now like most of my install videos I'm going to be doing this on the Max Jax M6 lift but you don't need a lift for this particular install but I just like to use it so I can get good camera angles and great lighting for all of you. Now the first thing we're going to do is take this box over to the workbench and unbox it and show you exactly what comes inside and then we're going to get the Corvette up on the lift and start the install. All that and more coming right up right here in the Team 512 garage. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Scott and this is the Team 512 Garage and this is where I come to work on my Corvettes and share my love and passion for automobiles with all of you. So if you're not already subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button down there and smash the like button if that's something that you're into. Now let's head back over to the workbench, start the unboxing so we can get those diffuser fins installed. All right, you guys, we are over at the workbench and we have the box from ACS Composite sitting right here. I've got my GoPro up above so you can see right down inside. So let's get started with the unboxing. So like most ACS Composite products, they come in this nice white box with, of course, the blue handle. And I've already cut the tape so we can open it up and see exactly what's inside. All right, so like always, we have this really nice marketing collateral here, nice high quality with lots of images of some other parts that you can buy for your Z06 and Grand Sport, and of course, one for the Stingray as well. We have instruction manual as well as the all important diffuser fin template, and there's one for the left side of the car and also one for the right side of the car. And when we get into the install, I'll show you exactly how to use these templates. And the attention to detail with ACS is on another world. I mean, check this out. The styrofoam is actually cut away so that everything fits in nice and flat when they close the lid of the box. Pretty cool, you guys. All right, now let's take the uh, styrofoam off and you will see a couple things here. We've got all four of the diffuser fins wrapped in this signature soft cloth bag that you'll find a lot of ACS parts come in. And then you'll also find the screws that we're gonna need in order to attach the fins to the car. So let's take a look at one of these diffuser fins so you can see exactly what it looks like. Painted in this beautiful carbon flash. And uh, yeah, it's gonna match the factory carbon flash really, really well. Check that out, you guys. Here, I'll hold it up to the camera over here. That is what a diffuser fin looks like. And of course, there are four of them and they will be arranged across the back of the car on the lower rear fascia. So enough talking about these things. Let's get them unpackaged and on the car. All right guys, before we get started, let me talk a little bit about the tools you're gonna need to do this job and there aren't many. First thing you're gonna need is some painter's tape. You'll need a seven millimeter socket and your favorite ratchet or impact gun. Now I'm using the uh, DeWalt 20 volt impact gun and I use this almost exclusively for most of the jobs on my Corvettes. And there's a link down in the description for this one if you wanna pick that up. I'm also using a DeWalt drill and you'll need a 1 8 inch bit and a quarter inch bit as well in order to drill the holes into that lower rear fascia on your C7 Corvette. So now you know what you need to get the job done. Let's get it up in the air and get started. Mm -hmm. 
With the car now up in the air, we can finally get started. All right guys, the first thing you wanna do is remove those two seven millimeter screws at the base of the rear fascia with that seven millimeter socket and your favorite impact gun or ratchet. Then you're gonna go ahead and reinsert those screws through the provisions on the template and then grab your painter's tape and tape the top of the template to the rear fascia just like I'm doing here and make sure that the template is pulled tight enough so that it extends across the entire area of the bottom of the rear fascia without pulling it out of those screws. And then go ahead and grab your diffuser fins and hold them up to the rear fascia right on the template there. Make sure everything is squared up and nothing looks off or askew before you go ahead and drill those pilot holes just like I'm doing here. Then go ahead and grab your drill, pop in your eighth inch drill bit and go ahead and drill the six pilot holes on the rear fascia. And remember guys, the rear fascia itself is only about three millimeters thick and there's some sensitive items on the other side of the rear fascia there. So you don't wanna drill too deep. You don't need to push too hard with the drill in order to get the uh, holes drilled in the rear fascia. And then grab that quarter inch drill bit and ream out those holes to the full size. Now pull your template off, remove the screws, and keep those screws out so that you can fit your hand up underneath the rear fascia and reach all of the holes that you just drilled in order to put the screws through one by one, just like I'm doing here. There's the top screw going in, and then you're gonna go ahead and put the second screw in, and then of course the final screw at the base of the rear fascia. Grab your diffuser fin and go ahead and finger tighten all three of those screws, just like I'm doing here, starting with the bottom and then working your way all the way up to that top screw. And there's not a lot of room back there, but guys, you'll be just fine the way I'm doing it here. Then go ahead and grab your quarter inch ratchet with a seven millimeter socket, reach back up in there and tighten everything up real snug but don't over tighten and risk cracking the rear fascia itself. Now, this inboard rear diffuser fin is a lot easier to reach from behind than the outboard one, but I'm gonna show you a quick tip in a second here on how to reach further up on the outboard side. And here we go, guys. Just go ahead and remove these three screws on the lower left-hand side of the driver's side rear fascia with a seven millimeter socket just like I'm doing here. And this will enable you to flex the rear fascia down a little bit more so that you can get your hand up there and you can see my finger there at the top hole. I'm able to reach all the way up there, no problem. So go ahead and grab your first screw, insert it in the hole, and you can pull down on the rear fascia in order to make enough room to get your arm in there. Again, like I said, no problem. And then you're gonna go ahead and install the final screw Grab the fin, and remember that orange sticker needs to be on the outside diffuser fin, just like I have here. Go ahead and tighten those screws on up, finger tight first, and then grab your ratchet, tighten everything down, and of course, put all your screws back in place. All right, guys, we're gonna repeat the process on the passenger side. So as you probably can tell, there is a lot more room to work on the passenger side than there is on the driver's side. The driver's side is definitely the more challenging side to find the holes and gain access to the screw heads.
All right, guys, we are all finished on both sides, and man, do they look great. Now, ACS Composite is an OEM validated manufacturer of composite materials, so you know you're going to get OEM quality, if not better. And these diffuser fins are no different. Now, I'm going to get the car down off of the lift and outside so we can take a look at the work we just did. All right, you guys, the car is back down on the ground. Let's take a look at these rear diffuser fins now that we're all finished up. And I got one little surprise for you. Check it out, you guys. That has to be one of the greatest mods I've done to this car so far. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the ACS composite rear diffuser fins on the Grand Sport. Yeah, you know I had to put some of the red pinstriping on them just to kind of complete everything, and I think they look awesome. So a huge shout out to Jonathan and the folks over at ACS for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to see an install of these diffuser fins without using a lift, hop over to Horsepower Obsessed channel and check out the install that he did. I'll leave a link down in the description so you can see exactly how to install these without using a lift. And he's got a couple good tips for you. All right, you guys, that does it for another video. As always, thanks for stopping by the channel. There's tons of great Corvette and automotive content on YouTube. So any time you spend with me is greatly appreciated. Huge shout out to Jonathan and the folks at ACS Composite for sponsoring this video. If you have any questions about anything you saw in this video, or any of my other videos, you can always email me at team512garage at gmail.com. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and smash that like button too. And don't forget to leave me some comments. You guys know I love interacting with people who love cars and Corvettes just as much as I do. Till next time, see ya.